Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Nine of Swords. Something is giving you sleepless nights. It can be something that you feel sorry about. Maybe something you've done in the past that is coming back to haunt you. It can be also an anticipation of a future activity that uh, somehow you are uh, somehow affected by the outcome. Uh, you know how it is sometimes when there's a certain activity that is very very important for you and uh, just thinking about whether you will succeed or not already gives you anxiety now for some of you it can be a problem that seems to be it seems that there's no solution for the problem so it can be a problem that seems to have no solution well whatever it is I feel that the invitation of the card for you is to let it go and to let the divine. There is that saying, let go and let God and trust everything to the divine. You just do what you can and then trust everything to the divine. If it is something that you have committed, like for example something uh, you committed a mistake or you've done something wrong, then accept that you committed the mistake. If you need to apologize, then say, I am sorry. I wish I can change it, but I cannot anymore. But I can begin again. So resolve to begin again. But I feel it's important for you to let it go into the hands of the divine at this time. If it is beyond your control, then entrust it to the divine. Let go and trust that the spirit will take care of everything. Just do what you can and the rest and trust it to the divine. Now, let's try to see how this will further unfold. Well, for some of you, uh, you're trying to balance certain things in your life right now. Uh, many things to do. And maybe that's the reason why you also have difficulty sleeping at night because maybe you are anticipating the possibilities uh, there are many things that we worry about because there are many things in our plate right now as if you're not sure whether you will be able to accomplish all of them. Well, they say that the best way for, a, for an ant to finish an elephant, elephant is to take one bite at a time. Take things at bite size or the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step so just take the first step and and trust everything to the divine uh, whatever it is you're doing right now trying to balance things it is affecting your emotions and maybe that's the reason why you have difficulty you have difficulty of sleeping you don't have to do everything also you can always ask others to help you uh, and trusting certain things to others will also lessen the load. Now, so far you are coping with the situation, but maybe you need to re-examine your situation. Maybe you have a lot of things in your plate right now. Just do what you can and entrust the rest to the divine. And maybe you need to, yeah, lessen the load. Maybe there's a need for you to and trust some things to others now what is the advice of the universe for you okay you need to make choices okay choose your battles that's the thing that comes to me right now you don't have to do everything choose your battles and allow others to help you also with what you are doing so you don't have to do all these things Sometimes you just need to make the right choices. 
choose whatever challenge you can let go of the others just choose what could be helpful for you or you don't have to do everything choose your battles and make the right choices uh, listen to your heart listen to the spirit listen to the divine you don't have to do everything choose your battles okay let's now go to insights at twilight Repairing the veil. Okay. Forgiveness. So for some of you, this one that gives you sleepless nights could be a past experience that has caused you pain. And they are now coming back to your memory. Maybe it's because they are asking you to heal that portion of your life history. And a bigger part of that is learning to forgive. If you do that, then you will have lesser things to worry about in your life. You know how it is when you are able to resolve, resolve certain aspects of your life. Then things become easier, especially when you are finally reconciled with your past. Now, it depends on the situation you are in. If you do not have the opportunity to resolve your situation, for example, the person that you need to forgive or the person that you need to ask forgiveness from is very far, then you can visualize it and ask from a distance. You ask from your heart to say, I'm sorry, or from your heart you can say, I forgive you. So. The forgiveness doesn't have to be face-to-face. Uh, -face. It can be also done even from a distance. Now, uh, when you do that, you are repa repairing the veil. You are healing yourself. And at the same time, you are freeing yourself from certain burdens that you have been carrying for quite some time. Now, the caterpillar... It says here, opportunity. There is an opportunity for you to heal. Now just, just be open. And uh, sometimes the difficult moment it also is also a stepping stone. Uh, it can be also a path towards something much better. Now try to see what opportunity is opening up to you in spite of the anxieties that you are encountering um, you need to make choices yeah opportunity also is being able to identify the things that are beneficial for you and the things that are not so you will have to make choices here and so which one is beneficial for you then choose that somehow finding what is more beneficial for you there are a lot of opportunities that are opening up to you there are many choices you don't have to get all of them just choose what is best for you so that you will not be carrying too much and at the same time it will not give you too much anxiety just choose your battles well that's it for today i hope you were able to benefit from our reading thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways